Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another vlog. Dom leaves tonight. Kenzie didn't even care, too. No, I literally, you came into my room last night and you're like, you look so sad. <laughs> That's for other reasons. No. <laughs> it was because of you. You're so... Dom is being a drama queen these days. Mm. 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 I don't agree with that statement. <laughs> but what I do agree with... This is hidden different. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. We got almond butter, of course, so just how you like it. Mm hmm. Ah, mm. uh, yes. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. So, if you guys are new here, subscribe. Welcome to another vlog. Um, it's Wednesday morning. Dom leaves. It's fine. She'll be back. But it's going to be really boring around here for a good amount of time. Yeah. I'm like actually trying to fill my time completely until. Oh. Yeah. Well, it's going to be a little bit. That I'm gone for a bit. What? I'm gonna be gone for a little bit. Like, yeah. What are you trying to say? No, I'm just letting you know. So you have to be stay strong without me. I probably won't, but um, we're working. So good morning, everyone. And working. Welcome to the vlog. Fitz's little bark box just came in. If you're wondering why Fitz only got one and Coco didn't, it's because they end up sharing all these toys and they both like bigger toys. So this is very exciting. Oh, it's not sponsored by the way. Like I said, it's not sponsored. I've worked with them in the past and I think I might have a link. I'll put it down below. I might have a good discount for you, but look at this theme. <gasps> Fitz, Coco, look guys. This is so cute. Let me open this up. Oh my gosh, I'm crying. Look, cacti. That is so this cute. is so cute. Fitz and Coco, you guys are so lucky. They don't look that excited right now, but the toys they play with the most are always their BarkBox toys. We have the Christmas one. Oh, there we go. Okay, I have to take your tags off, but aren't these so cute? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, dude. Goodbye, you guys. You're not leaving yet. Dom, no, seriously, stop. It's so sad. Goodbye, vlog. Until next time. Whenever that'll be. All right, everyone, we've made it to Bishop Arts. We have my little brother, Seth, here. He's my stepbrother. Get lots of confusion on that. Um, probably because I literally never clarify. But we made it to Bishop Arts to, I, I don't know, it's very sad. We just needed to go to tribal one more time before Dom leaves. I'm, like, tearing up at this point. I actually am. <laughs> Are you really actually No, sad? Dom, I'm really sad. Yes, and Dom, I don't know, Dom and I deal with emotions very differently. Like, I shut off. Not really always. I, I deal with my cool. emotions. Um, um, possibility, yeah. No, I think you're fine. It's like, if it's something like a goodbye or something like that, I don't show a lot of emotion, but I'm really sad about it. But you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's very shocking to me. Okay, this is- Dom, you were literally so- Why do you think that- Why? It's, be it's because I'm very like- <laughs> Yeah, we just deal with things differently. And so we're just like this. Because I also like know when I want to deal with my emotion and when I don't. Yeah. And you will. This is great. I'm gonna get a truck for filming. I mean, great is, lighting. If we wanted to, we do like carpool karaoke. Oh my god. Oh, genius stuff. We're gonna be I using your truck. I can't oh, believe oh, there's so no. many cars on the We're market. keeping it in the family though. That's the thing. I know. Amazing. Can you imagine an arm girl? Amazing. <laughs> Dirt idea. Mask on, guys. If you're in Texas, you better be wearing your mask. I don't even want to talk about it at all. Yeah. I want to have a good day. So wear your wear your mask, everyone. Tribal, my absolute face place ever. So happy that I'm here. Okay, here's the good morning. It's OJ grapefruit espresso. It sounds gross. It's so good. And Seth is gonna try it. How do you feel? Very good. Right? It is good. But did you expect it to be horrible? Yes. yes. And it was really good. Well, there we go. You guys, here we are. Dom is having food envy again. No one is surprised. It's a serious condition that she has all the time. Fruit parfait looks so good. I'm sick of it. <laughs> guys, I just, you can't even see. I just found the most beautiful boots in the entire world. Dolly on Bishop. My God, we're just walking around, but wow. 
so I'm giving um, Seth tips on going on a date, not that he has any dates in the foreseeable future, mm -hmm. but I said you should take her to Paradiso, right here, next door, and pour in pies. You say like, hey, I know this pie shop that everyone in Dallas knows, so maybe don't say it like that, and then I think that you win. Right, what do you think? Great idea. Great idea. You're welcome. Yeah, I'm giving you all this advice. It's it's free I'm so too. Blessed. It's free. You are. Hashtag blessed. Hashtag blessed. Hashtag You're so blessed, so guys. Welcome. I'm not gonna die. Okay. So cute. Okay. We went to Be Kind in Bishop Arts, which actually someone had already told me to go to. I mean, not Be Kind. Go easy. Why did I say that? It's so cute. And I got some drinks. I got a CBD drink because I'm very anxious for some reason. And then I got the Can You Forks Spritz, which I love normal Can You Forks. I haven't had the Spritz. It's actually crazy. If you are like a mocktail kind of gal, really good. Hi guys, happy Thursday. New podcast episode went up this morning with Jessica Kent. We talked about prison life, prison reform, getting her daughter back, working with the cartel. It's a really good episode. I actually like love her. I think she's just the greatest person ever. So that's up, go listen. Today, uh, I was just on my computer, went and got coffee this morning. I've just been working FaceTime Molly for a bit. Now I have therapy. This is, I said this before, but this has been a slower week and I just don't do well with slow weeks if I'm not in the mood to have a slow week. You know what I mean? Like I kind of prefer to be like back to back with things. How do you guys feel? Instead of like a normal pace. Maybe that's not a good thing. It probably isn't. Anyways, I'm going to therapy. Then I'm going to get Botox. I've gotten it once before. Going to do that. Um, Michelle and I are actually filming for the living room today. That's pretty much all on my agenda. So we're about to head out, listening to country, just having the best day. It's also really nice out. Like I sat outside and got coffee this morning and it was just so peaceful. I felt so relaxed. Yeah, that's just what's been up. Also, I actually really, I think I've talked about this in a vlog, but my new Dr. Amen book, I'm really excited. I haven't been reading like the past week, I have not read as much as I normally do. Um, I need to get back to that. Maybe I'll read a lot today. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, well, it's time to go. I'm going to therapy. I probably will vlog after um, and take you guys with me as I get Botox. All right, I'm going to Starbucks, out of therapy. It's been such a great day, guys. We're at Cider Plaza. Cute. I actually love it over here. Thank you. Got a refreshing tea. It looks so good. Oh my God but I got this package from Artlist. Like, first off, how exciting, also, so kind. I'm actually probably gonna change into this tonight. It's really soft, it's a perfect chocolate brown set. I'm actually crying, like so nice. Oh my God, okay, I'll link it below. I'm back to being Martha Stewart tonight. I'm gonna make some dinner. I love like a brown rice pasta with some of my favorite pasta sauce right here. And then I just bake some eggplant and then put cheese on it. It's really good. If you're like super healthy, you can do vegan cheese, but it's actually like the best dinner ever. It sounds so basic. It is really basic, but it's really good. I'm gonna have like a really cozy night in, I think tonight I have all the candles going. Okay, I just made dinner. Um, I'm actually gonna try one of these drinks. They got sent to me in the mail. I'll let you guys know how I like them. I'm gonna take a nice bath and then read tonight because I haven't really done that in the past Friday morning guys I'm about to do a workout with daylight I'm using the karaoke mic to set my phone up but I'm doing your bars Instagram live for my cute workout set I'll link it below um whatever I forget what these are called everyone's wearing them I have them in black too they're the best leggings I got these in a medium I got this in a medium I should have gone a size small but very comfy I finished the workout feeling good I'm gonna go shower I'm gonna do a little chit chat get ready with me and then also show you guys how I've been using my Dyson um, I have been loving the Dyson lately. Sorry, I've not been that great at vlogging. I've just been kind of all over the place. And honestly, just like not very focused this week. I've been like really out of it. But I'm going to take you guys through so we can go upstairs in a sec. I am wearing my new top that needs to be tied better, but I just can't deal with it. I realized that I actually can't fully get ready because I got Botox yesterday. And you're not supposed to wear makeup for 24 hours after. So I'm going to show you guys my like no makeup look and do my hair. I'm using the Luxe Unfiltered lotion i put this on after i shower it's nonsense it's really good i also really love the summer friday stuff but i thought i would answer some questions everyone's been doing like the little girl talk q a's so isn't this the worst when you put too much lotion on and then it's like all over you i'm getting ready right now i'm gonna go grab lunch it's so nice out sit on the rooftop this top by the way i love from urban outfitters these jeans are literally walmart 11 dollars i'm gonna slightly blow my hair out just so it looks better it takes me like literally no time at all i'm gonna pull up some questions don't mind me right, first one 
I think I'm in love with my ex's potential in parentheses. That's why we stay in contact. Tips. What? I can't say that. Tips on letting go. Yeah. So potential is just that. It's just potential, and I think I have done this as well. It's really, really easy to do this. I feel like everyone has experience with this. At the end of the day, potential is just that. It's just potential. There's a difference between someone having a lot of like potential and room to grow. Like we all have room to grow. But as far as like, oh, he has a lot of potential. If you're dating him for his potential, his potential doesn't actually exist. And I think, practically speaking, like in times that you would be talking to him or doing something with him or whatever, like start having hobbies on your own. Favorite sunscreen, as always. Just realizing that like potential literally doesn't exist. Something I used to always say is like patterns over potential, ironically. I think noticing their patterns and like who they actually are today, rather than making up this like imaginary person that they are, that's also in a way like not fair to them because you're putting these expectations on them that like they probably can't even like do, you know what I mean? Setting boundaries with friends as a whole. I feel like I'm a really big boundaries person. I talk about this a lot. I think especially when you've been around a lot of people who've been friends since they were like eight years old, sometimes it's really easy to like not have boundaries, especially with like dating and like them to not have boundaries with who you're seeing, so things like that. Like, yes, that's definitely a problem, but I think you can never go wrong just communicating and be like, hey, like this is actually just between us or this is just my thing. Another thing too, I actually have an entire podcast episode going up on this with Terry Cole, she's a psychotherapist in New York. And she was like, you know, setting boundaries doesn't necessarily have to be like a conversation. It can be like over time, kind of like a slow removal. You're not at their beckoning call in time. You're not always answering. You're not available 24 seven. That's not immature. That's not immature. It's just like realistically what happens is over time, you are, you say a lot more with your actions and behaviors than you even do with your words. So I think that that was also like really good advice. It's hard, it's really tough, um, but it's definitely like needed, unfortunately. That was my work take with bronzer. Aren't I just so lucky? Thoughts on dating apps? I think they're fine. Oh, I have bronzer all over my floor. I think they're fine, it's not my thing um, because, mainly because I'm lazy and I also, it's like really hard for me to give any boy attention at all in general. So I think I'm just like not, it's not like made out for me, but I think it's, I think it's great. And like, I love my friends around. I love going on their things. I think I'm actually just maybe like too, uh, I don't know the word, lazy. Honestly, I think that's really what it is. Um, I would like much prefer to meet someone through mutual friends. Updates on your dating life. And are you going to share that? Um, I am dating. Like I've been i haven't yeah but i'm like doing it but i don't think that um i don't know i don't know like what i don't know i, I really have no idea how that will work out guys so this is why i need to drink coffee before i like talk to the camera because i'm just not awake also this bronzer right here best bronzer ever remember when i said muscle or makeup i feel like bronzer is fine right like mascara because it's not like a liquid i don't know favorite part about being in a relationship favorite part about being single um, okay. I personally like, love being single, so there's a lot of things, but I think overall in a relationship, like, I think the, like, team aspect when you're, like, with someone, you always have someone, that's nice. Um, just, like, always have someone to go to, I think, and, like, they just, like, you do, like, your life with them, essentially. As far as being single, um, the, like, selfish freedom you have to where, like, you can just do whatever you want, whatever you want. Not that you can't do that in a relationship, but, like, as relationships go on, you typically start to like think for two and you're just never going to have that amount of freedom again. So I think that would probably be my favorite thing about being single. Also, uh, no, you know what it is in all seriousness, it's that I can read so much. I'm not kidding. That's really what it is. Okay. I might answer some more later, but for right now, I'm actually going to show you guys how I've been using my Dyson Air app. It's really, really simple. So these arrows, there's so many different attachments. And also to answer any questions, yes, I fully think it's worth it. It takes me like three minutes to do my hair and you guys will see it. It looks like I like went to the salon, but um, you want the arrows pointing away from your face. Legitimately took me two minutes. My hair is done. Looks like I actually really tried. So 
That's that. Um, okay, I don't have a good hairspray. Do you guys have a good hairspray rack? I don't like it when it's like too like crunchy, you know? Like I don't like this. I've just had them at my house. So I just kind of do this because I don't want it to like fully lose out. This side looks so much better than the other side, but it is what it is, you know? Putting this stuff away. I'm gonna go to lunch. It's actually so nice out this week. So on top of me just being like severely distracted and like not paying attention to like anything in my life. It's also nice outside, which makes me just want to get outside like 24 seven. Like it feels beautiful. I'm gonna go on a nice little walk, you know? All right, this is my outfit. This tank is Urban Outfitters. These jeans are legit Walmart. It's actually crazy. They're $11. My favorite revolve shoes. And then I'm just gonna wear my chocolate brown. Happy Saturday, everyone. I'm currently cleaning my house. I'm doing laundry, did dishes, organizing, all of that stuff. I'm actually about to self-tan. I'm not gonna use this, but I did get this in PR yesterday. I wanted to show you because Isle of Paradise is one of my favorite self-tanner brands. It sounds like a brand deal. It's not, this is PR. But I'm gonna take you guys through and show you what products and stuff I use when I self-tan in like a second. I'm excited, I'll keep you guys posted, probably on Instagram stories, when I use this. It's a self-tanning butter. I normally like their mousse. They have a really good mitt as well. It says it develops in four to six hours. It gives you a golden glow. But what I love about Isle of Paradise is it's color correcting too. I just self-tanned. I used the Tanologist Express Tan in medium, the self-tan mousse. I've been really liking this. I alternate between a few different brands. On a day-to-day, -day, my fave is Lux Unfiltered if I'm just trying to get a gradual tan, but because I wanted to be tan for tonight, I needed to do this one. So that was my phone, don't worry. So it really just depends on like how fast I want the tan to show up. Um, before though, when I'm in the shower, I always use this body wash, which is the best body wash. I'll have it linked below. It's very hydrating. It's Kapari. I find it really hard to find a body wash that's actually moisturizing. This one does the job. I've been using Ocean Salt to exfoliate. I like it. Um... I don't have like an all-time fave exfoliator. Please let me know what you guys think I should get. That's just an OG and I was at Lush. So I've been loving that. And then I also use my mitt. Um, this is just a random Isle of Paradise mitt. I have so many different ones. I just use it. So it's like really messed up right now. The secret is using a brush to go over your hands, elbows, knees, and ankles. If you apply the tanner with this brush, it goes on and like there's no lines or anything which I love. So that's like my number one trick. I just have this randomly around my house. I have no idea where this brush is even from, but that's what I do. I probably self tan around like twice a week. Um, sometimes less, sometimes not actually never really more than twice, but love it. These are really good. I also love Isle of Paradise. I love St. Tropez. Um, yeah, it just really depends. This is just what I have right now. And I'm a big fan. All right, I self tan. I'm about to get my brows done. I've needed to get them done for so long. I've been putting it off. I'm gonna go to the Benefit Brow Bar. Um, I'm just wearing sweats. I need to clean this mirror. But these are my uncomfortable by Mayfair sweats. I legit wear these shoes every day. I'm gonna get them in every color from Revolve and then just a tank top. It feels so good outside, guys. I know I normally love gloomy weather, but I think I'm back into like, you know, warm, beautiful days like, you know, the rest of the world. It feels so good. I've been driving around and just listening to music and it's just like the best feeling ever. Going to get my brows done really bad right now, so I need to get that taken care of. So, got my brows done. They look so much better. I picked up two new lip products. I just always get new lip products. I haven't tried this, the It Cosmetics Pillow Lips solid serum serum i'm so sorry everyone there's certain things that i say that i know it's wrong and i just can't stop saying it okay i'm giving you a nice review honestly with most this is weird with most lip products i end up they end up like growing on me like the dior one that i love that one grew on me oh yeah no i like this it's very like moisturizing okay i like this one I'll give you guys updates throughout lip injection. I haven't had one in forever and I haven't had the colored one. So I wanted to try it out. This stuff like burns and stings your lips and it honestly makes you look like you have lip injection. So they did a great job with it. I'm going to go over and take my cousin's dog on a little walk. It's just so nice today. Like I'm really in just the absolute best mood. All right, guys, it is, I think it's like almost, yes, 3.15 right now. I am getting ready for the day finally. Had a really great, nice walk with Alyssa. I'm going to Lila's and then I have plans. Dyson Airwrap has actually just changed my life. I mean, I know I've had it for a while, but I feel like every time I use a different attachment, it feels like I have a whole new hair tool. 10 out of 10, so worth the money. The Dyson back there is really bothering me. Another Dyson product, of course. But I love that. Also, just what I've been doing for makeup lately, I really like 
this new look if you guys want a tutorial let me know i'm wearing my robe it's just a cozy afternoon do you guys ever have those weeks where you feel like you're just not mentally fully there that's how i feel this week i just feel like it's not i don't know how to describe it does anyone else know how to describe this all right this is my outfit for the afternoon i'm just wearing this cute little top i'm just wearing this cute top i just got from urban i love these jeans are princess polly they're actually my favorite jeans and they're only like 60 dollars the only thing is um they kind of stretch a little bit. I wish that they were a little bit more fitted around the waist. Final look. I want to do an entire video. So this has basically been this vlog anyways of like getting ready every week. Just what I'm wearing. Show you the makeup I use. Like do like a, like a, it's like an outfit of the week video, but with looks. Not a full makeup tutorial either. I don't know how I would make that happen, but let me know. I'm just wearing my fun, cute little favorite bag. Um, I'm going to take the dogs outside. I need to drink some water is probably what I need to do. This weather is just really putting me in the absolute best mood. All right, guys, it's Sunday. I'm wearing Alice Sweats, Princess Polly tank top sneakers. I'm really cozy. It's actually kind of warm outside. It's like in the 60s and I'm just convinced that I'm going to lay out today. Like I won't get a tan. I wouldn't get a tan anyways. I'm very Irish, but I think that's my plan. I'm gonna make it work. Um, I need to go to Trader Joe's, which is such a mess on a Sunday. I don't know why. There's gonna be a line. What am I gonna do? I've gotta figure that one out. But also, I got these in the mail. They're so cute. Mantra Sundays. Good. This is a weekly agenda, and this is the daily agenda. So I'm actually really excited. You can follow along at, at Mantra Sundays. I just like love Kelsey, and I think this stuff is gonna be great. So today is more of a like getting my life together sort of day. I've just been very absent from the vlog. I'm really sorry, honestly. But don't worry, it's gonna be really good. Actually, Molly is here this week. It's her birthday. So we've got a big week coming up. I have a busy week. This past week also, I just, we already talked about this. Love, okay. So I'm gonna do my dishes. I've been listening to country nonstop. I'm the happiest I've been in my whole life, I think. Um, yeah. <laughs> really do love them. I also like that they're flat and like visual. I can see them really easily. I'm a very visual person, you know? I'm video planning. Comment below what videos you guys want to see. I'm going to order my groceries because the Trader Joe's line is like an hour long right now. So I'm going to have this delivered. I'm going to make spicy fusilli tonight. Um, my sister's coming over. It's going to be fun. I haven't really been reading at all. So I think I'm going to go up on the rooftop and just read. I really want to edit and work right now, but it's Sunday and I'm just trying to not do that. So that's the plan. I have not worn a bathing suit in so long because it's been, you know, it was snowing here like a week ago. Grabbing the necessities, my Kindle, my Hydrofast, why am I not even remembering? I put on a swimsuit. I have a hat on. I'm going to the rooftop. I'm going to lay out. Let's see how long I last. It's not hot out, but I'm thinking in direct sunlight, I can handle it, you know? I need better, like, outdoor towels. I don't want to say pool towels because, you know, there's no pool. I mean, there was last summer. Who remembers? I need better ones. So that's on my list of things to do. This has just been the most relaxing afternoon ever. I finished my book. I read literally 80% of it. Didn't like it, but I just felt like I needed to finish it. And I just feel so relaxed. My groceries have arrived, so I'm about to go downstairs to do a grocery haul, but I just, I feel absolutely incredible. All right, I'm doing a grocery haul really quickly. We have fusilli, tomato paste, my favorite pasta sauce ever. It's so good. Lemon, bananas, broccoli, basil, shallot, Parmesan, salmon, milk, which I like the other one better, but that's probably just what they had. Heavy whipping cream, unsalted butter, my favorite dairy-free yogurt. It's so good. Um, I need aluminum foil. And then last but not least, we have ginger beer. So that's it. I'm gonna put this away. I'm gonna take a shower, actually. I got the cutest set sent to me today from Ragdoll. You guys will see it with these shorts. And then this like oversized hoodie, which you know when it's like shorts and hoodie weather, that's the best and that's like today. So I'm gonna put that on. 
as far as when the friendship is over, you thought it was going to last a lifetime and that's just not the reality of where you're at. I think it's really important to just honestly spend that time on yourself. I think it's really similar to a actual like romantic relationship breakup. I think maybe just channel that energy, focus more on yourself and then also like put yourself out there and make new friends. I think in order to have a friend, you have to be a friend. And how often do we complain about having no friends when we haven't reached out or made any sort of effort to make a friend, have a friend, be a friend. And then we sit there in our little self pity party that, you know, is just extremely unnecessary. I will leave you with this. This is one thing I always say to myself. There are no relationships in my life that I no longer have that I wish that I did. And that doesn't mean that I don't miss certain people or certain things didn't hurt. It's just after you allow like time to kind of come in, you'll realize why maybe that friendship wasn't for you anymore. 